In Project 11, we built Bookworm, an app that lets users remember ratings and descriptions for books they've read in the past. And we also added a custom rating view for storing ratings as stars from one through five. Again, most of this app does really well with voiceover just out of the box. But this rating control, I think, is a hard fail. It uses lots of individual buttons to add the functionality for choosing ratings, which doesn't convey the fact they are, in fact, rating stars at all. For example, if you, if you tap one of the stars in the app right now, you'll see something like favorite button, favorite button, favorite button, and that's it. You've got no idea what's actually happening at all here. Anyway, that in itself is a problem, okay? But it's extra problematic because the plan for this rating view was designed to be reusable. You can take this from this project right now and apply it in other kinds of projects you have. And that just means you end up kind of polluting many projects with poor accessibility code. Now, we're gonna tackle this in an unusual way. The first with a simpler set of modifiers that do an okay job, but then we'll look at how adjustable actions get a more optimal solution. Now, our initial approach is gonna use two modifiers each added to the star buttons down here. First, we're gonna provide one that adds a meaningful label for each star. So I'll say here, there is an accessibility label. This is going to be, that's okay, exactly right, it's complicated. Uh, if the number is one, we're gonna write out one star. Otherwise, we're gonna write out number uh, stars like that. Yes, quote, Bracket, quote, bracket, yes. <laughs> anyway, next we're gonna add an extra trait to the buttons that are currently highlighted. So you just can see which one's currently active. So we'll say here, we'll do accessibility, OS accessibility, add traits. If the number is greater than our current rating, that means it's currently selected uh, here. Uh, if, it's not, if the number's greater than our current rating, it's not selected, sorry then we'll send back just an empty array of traits, add nothing at all. Otherwise, we'll send back uh, the trait is selected, like so. So if our rating is currently three, our number is four, add no traits. Otherwise, add the selected trait. So now we'll say uh, one star selected, two star selected, whatever, up to five stars, nothing, not selected. So it took only two small changes, but its improved component is better than what we had before. It is an improvement. And this initial approach works. It works well enough, and it's certainly the easiest to take. It builds on all the skills we use elsewhere. However, I think there's a better approach, which is um, the adjustable action approach. I mean, this whole thing, a swipe thing, we can work our way through one at a time. It's much, much nicer. And it, it yields a far more useful result, too, for voiceover users. It's more efficient for them. It's more comfortable for them, what they're used to in their own uh, environment, which is great. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and just delete these two modifiers we had before. We don't want these at all anymore. So just zap those entirely. Boom. And instead, we're going to make our modifiers apply to the whole rating view. This whole thing here becomes our accessibility view. So I'll say here, this is an accessibility element. Inside there, we'll say accessibility label is label, like that. So our label, remember, this thing's being passed in already, uh, is our uh, uh, text title for this thing, star rating, whatever you want to call it. That's our regular label. We'll then say it has an accessibility value. This is where we'll say it's one star, two stars, three stars, and so forth. So we'll say if the rating is currently one, then we'll use one star. Otherwise, again, we'll use rating, that's a string, rating stars, like that. So we'll read rating, two stars, because it does that label, then the value. And we'll also attach to this the adjustable action. So we can control increasing or decreasing the value with simple swipe gestures. So we'll say, give me the direction coming in, and then switch on that direction. If we're incrementing, then we'll say, if our rating is less than our maximum rating, rating plus equals one. If we're decrementing, if rating is greater than one, then rating minus equals one. 
So we're able to increase or decrease our rating that way. Now remember, you've got to include that default option here to handle unknown future values. I'll just do a break for that one. I'm not sure what else you do there really at this point. So we're handling a better way of selecting these things. They aren't actually triggering the button actions at all anymore. This is all bypassed as one single adjustable action for the whole H stack. They can swipe up and down when it's selected. It works much, much better. So we group everything together. So all five buttons appear together. We apply a label rating, whatever you use in your code. We do the value out in one big lump, three stars, four stars, five stars, whatever, and then add our adjustable action so you can swipe through and get the control rating, three stars, rating, five stars, whatever, rather than try and work the way through individual images.